Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, I'm going to be going over some brand new Roblox jailbreak update news, so let's get right into it. Alright guys, now before I really start getting into this, I'd just like to say, sorry for not posting the uh, news for the last few days, I was really busy with school, and uh, I couldn't really have any time to post, but here we go today. So as you can see here, uh, Bad Emo has just tweeted out a few days ago, we're bringing you two new places within Trade Island. Drag race on the new highway bridge. Garage included for each lane. Snap photos in the new photo dump. Plus, we're bringing cinematic can to trade VIP owners. This and more arrive this weekend. So, obviously, this is all the update news for this weekend's update. And what this is saying, on the trade island, there will be two new locations. One of them is a big highway where you'll be able to drag race. So here's an image of the trade island. And you can see off the edge is the big highway, which is a straightaway. And then if I come here, you can see another image of the garage in the beginning. And then here is the photo dome where you can just take some pretty cool pictures of your car. I'm not quite sure where this will be, but it looks pretty cool. And uh, that's that. And if I scroll down, Aslimo did say something else about it here. And he says, the bridge track has a functioning light and time tracking for each lane, plus a pier themed side road for filming and returning back to the start. So basically, uh, this whole track here, it'll track your time and they'll have like a stop or go light and everything. And then on the side, so you can drive up and down and uh, without going down the main track, there's a big like uh, little lane so you can just drive up and down without actually racing. So that's pretty helpful there. But anyways, let's move on to the next thing, which is the brand new season 18 prizes. Now, Asimo here has said, Season 18 takes place in the Wild West. Let's take a look at the prizes. Level 2, Native Wing. Level 3, Animated Windmill Wing. Level 4, Wanted Poster. And Level 5, Bullhorn Wing. Now, let's take a look here. You can see this Level 2 prize, the Native Wing, which I think is really nice, especially for a uh, Level 2 prize. Then, Level 3 is Spinning Windmill Wing, and I like this a lot, especially since it's animated again, and it just looks really nice, and I think fits the theme well. Level 4, the Wanted Poster, which is a furniture item, and I like this uh, quite a bit, and it looks pretty nice. And then level 5 is the Bullhorn Wing, which I like a lot. I probably won't use too much, but it does look really, really nice. Anyways, let's move on to the next few prizes, which are... The level 6, Gunfire Rim. The level 7, Tumbleweed Rim. The level 8, Red Bandana. And level 9, Wagon Wheel Rim. Now, if we take a look at these, here's the gunfire rim, and as you can see, it's basically a revolver with uh, loaded with bullets inside a rim, and I think it's really nice looking, it actually looks uh, pretty detailed and pretty nice. And then level 7 is the tumbleweed rims, and these are also really detailed and really, really nice looking, and uh, yeah, I think I might actually be using these some. And then level 8 is uh, the red bandana. And uh, it looks really nice, pretty nicely textured, kind of looks like a wooden texture a little bit, but yeah, it looks really nice. Then the level 9, one of my favorite items in this season is uh, the wagon wheel rim, and it's actually because it's very unique for the fact that it's the first rim that has ever really stuck out of the tire. Like, every other rim in the game has stayed inside the tire, never stuck in out of it like this, and I think that's really unique and pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to the last few things of the season, which are... The level 10 prize and the top 2% uh, percent prize. So let's start off with the, uh, with the top 2% prize, which is the old wagon sofa. And, uh, if I come down here, you can see, there it is. Looks pretty nice, you know, pretty nicely detailed. Looks, uh, yeah, nice. Obviously the top 2% there. And if I come back here, let's move on to the biggest thing of the season, which is the level 10 Longhorn Convertible, featuring four seats, hood horns, and a fully animated top. In addition to these western theme prizes, Season Pass returns to 399 Robux, updated XP and contract balancing, faster progression over Season 17. 
thank you for your feedback. Season 18 starts this weekend. So, from what I get from that, the season pass will be going down 100 Robux. So that's nice there. Then they updated the contracts and uh, XP and everything just to balance it a bit. And then the faster progression. So, season 17 was a little bit slower. But uh, this season, season 18, will be faster than season 17, which is pretty nice. But anyways, let's take a look at the car down here. And I really like this car. I think it looks really, really nice. It's really nicely detailed. You can see it's an convertible. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, nicely detailed and all that. So yeah, let's move on to the next thing, which is the brand new uh, animations for this car. Now, as you can see here, Asima says convertible video below. Also, some have also some have noticed a work in progress fall map. Good eyes. So that means this update there will also be a new fall map coming out. But if I click on this, you can see the new convertible roof, which is a really detailed and a really nice animation. Now I'm guessing the other convertibles in the game, their animation won't change, but there is a slight chance they may. So that would be pretty cool if they do. But yeah, this animation looks really, really nice, and I'm pretty excited for that to come into the game. But anyways, now let's move on to the next few things, which are some pretty interesting information that CC posted over here, and he says, A new car chassis I made a few years ago. Dynamic gear shifting animations, engine revving, real drifting, arms that grab the door to open it, and more. So, basically what this is, uh, Bad CC created very, very realistic animations for vehicles, and they were just really never added to the game, or never added to any game they ever made, and they look really, really nice, and some people are speculating they might be added this update, because Simo is kind of hinting at that, and I can take a look here, and you can see the gear shifting there, he's actually reaching forward and leaning and stuff, which looks really, really nice, and if I scroll down here, is uh, they're grabbing engine and doing some donuts, and here you can see it, he's spinning around in circles and doing real actual drifting in the car, and this car looks really nice, it looks like something that would be actually added to jailbreak, so I'm thinking there's a possibility that this might actually be added to jailbreak this update, but I'm not 100% sure about that, but yeah, that's uh, pretty cool there, and then the door's opening, you can see he's you can press a button and it'll pull on the door and eventually if uh, you know you pull it it'll open like that which is pretty cool now some people are speculating it'll actually be added which I really hope it is because it looks really really nice and I'm hoping this vehicle is also added but anyways let's move on to the last bit of news which is some brand new robbery information and here Asimo says we're talking about robbery logic changes Today, we have a problem. Too many robberies to choose from. This is great as a player. So many options, but it's awful for server interaction and awful for police hunting criminals. The solution? Remove the RNG of robbery openings and control which robberies open together. Below, you'll find color-coded map broken into four groups. Group A, the bank, jewelry store, and museum. Group B, power plant, cargo plane, and passenger train. Group C, Casino. Group D, Cargo Train, Cargo Ship, and Two. Now if I click this image here, you can see all the color-coded robberies. So you can basically see what it is. Every single robbery that's the same color will open at the same time. So like the bank, jewelry store, museum will all open together. Tomb, Cargo Ship will open together. So yeah, that's pretty cool down there. And then if I scroll down here to the uh, next thing, uh, he says, Veterans might notice Group A as a classic group of robberies. So basically, if I scroll back up here, Group A is all mainly the classic robberies. And uh, that's pretty cool there. Then he says, Now we can keep robberies and players together, just like the early days of Jailbreak before we had so many options. This also allows us to expand robberies in the future without feeling like a single player experience. Now, the next thing is a pretty big thing, and if I scroll down here, he says, Speaking of expanded robberies, introducing Crater City Bank. And uh, if I scroll down here, it says, Crater City Bank will open in Group C with the casino and offer the basement f bl blue floor uh, deductions and presidential vault. The classic bank is not being removed and will offer all the other floors. Some extra notes. Gas station, donut shop, and mansion will remain on the old opening system and operate independently. Robbery groups are randomly sorted to keep things fresh. Robbery groups change every 10 to 13 minutes 
or if all locations in the current group have been robbed and three minutes have passed, there are 30 seconds between groups. Boss Pass players will be told of the next group ahead of time. Thanks for reading this post. This and more launches this weekend. So, basically, all the uh, the robberies will sort of be switched up in their groups and everything, which is pretty cool. Now, the Crater City Bank here basically will not have every single bank floor. It'll have only a few, and uh, that's fine with me. And anyways, this bank looks really, really nice, and I think it's pretty fresh. You can see here it's right on the water, and this is the same building that the jetpack is also on top of. So that's pretty cool there. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to go over all the update news. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.